I mean, you can't stop an Earthshaker because Earthshaker is going to stay out and blink in and do his combo. It's probably going to be for this um, Tinker. Tinker doing a great job in terms of defending. But I don't think that Orga is really good for a Tinker as well because... Um, yeah, because the Tinker is... Uh, he's really staying behind very safely. Marshall Machine has a big AoE in terms of the... Uh, in terms of the low machine, so he doesn't have to get all too close. And of course, the, the rockets have just ridiculous range. So I don't think he's ever going to get into orbit range. So, uh, and the last choice, I guess, is going to be for uh, for the morphling uh, in, in prevention of him, you know, waveforming him away. But again, he has a Lincoln Sphere, so he could block a lot of spells. So I'm not too sure whether the orbit is the best of the choice there. Um, Shiva would help quite a bit, I think, because... I mean, they do have a lot of physical DPS in the form of the Morphling, so I mean, the Shiva, the minus armor, uh, the the minus attack speed aura, the the armor really helps out, and I'm not too sure really what the Orchid brings. It looks like there is going to be a Talisman Evasion, and uh, once that butterfly finish, it's going to be tough stuff. Um, now, the Potom or the Windrunner in any point could opt for a a, a monkey king bar and that could really i mean monkey king bar one of the most ridiculous item in in terms of re re increasing your your dps per second low dps per second damage per second per second yeah you know the usual lumi fail um anyways windrunner has a double damage so he's packing heat at this moment but unfortunately he's not finding any hero uh, a nice synergy going on between potom and the windrunner is that the you know whoever they're, they're focusing the minus the minus armor from the potom it's going to deal a lot of damage just increase the damage production from the windrunner and you said windrunner just uh, mowing down creeps like it's nothing but um I think the Scourge team is really content with the um, with Turling at this point. They do know they have a Morphling, and Morphling just out carries anything on the Scourge team. Now, this Windrunner could be a bit dangerous, um, but Windrunner at the end of the day is an intelligence hero, so he can't really benefit from f some of the best carrying items like Butterfly. So, meanwhile, on the Scourge team, warding wise, Merlini still keeping a good job, a nice defensive Turtling ward from here, seeing a great vision here. And uh, I think that's all they need at this point. I feel that if they could keep up another ward here, because mid lane is a bit of in danger. Um, they constantly have to put a lot of pressure. Or another lane, uh, another ward up this ramp could could see you know uh, enemy incoming. Or a ward here to sniff out the Roshan. Looks like they don't know there's going to be a Roshan going on. And uh, <clears throat> Potom using his illusions to scout, doing a good job. And they could really nail down the Roshan really quickly. Let's see if who's going to pick up this Aegis. Looks like Potom is going to pick up an Aegis at this point. Potom. Not doing a bit bad job in terms of damage. You're gonna go. Everyone's gonna go back to defend. I don't like this uh, BOT on the uh, <clears throat> on the panda. I mean, after Agamon Scepter and the Kellen's Dagger, that's really all you need. But I feel that you can make better items in in terms of your 2,000 gold spent. If you go for a late game hex on a on a panda, not not too bad. I mean, of course, but a hex you cannot use it in your panda form, so I, I do understand that. Uh, or you could go for a refresher orb. I saw the retry doing this a while back in a game I casted. <clears throat> it gives you you know dual panda form. You know, not too bad. It gives you some eight, uh, some some uh, extra mana, some regeneration. Not bad as well. So. Looks like Morphling doing his just solo push, whatever he wants he could do, and uh, I mean this more these uh, illusions just packing heat, and let's see, let's see the march is up to a sixteen hundred gold. Is there a eagle horn on his crow? Um, nothing of yet, so he's not close to his butterfly. That's good news for Sentinel. Sentinel is trying to go for a gank at this point, but not not all too successful with anything to do. Um, those illusions just ushering away the Sentinel support heroes. They are fairly low HP. It looks like there is a buckler on the Tide Hunter. I'm not sure if you understand. That's kind of go for a mecha, but mecha is one of those items you want really early, or you don't get it at all. But it looks like Beastmaster is in a bit of trouble. Cut through the trees to give sight, and it looks like this Beastmaster will go down. Rimrun, oh, BKB haste, running away, nothing he could do about it, and uh, nice safe escape there. Meanwhile, Morphling, every time they go gank, they're getting under heavy pressure. Looks like Panda blinks in OT, looks like they're going to focus on the 
Tinker, Tinker, go kneeling down immediately. They're going to Cyclone to... Go, go, Cyclone to the win. Oh, come on. Let's get that. Give me a Cyclone. Cyclone. No, I don't think they're going to pursue. Are they going to pursue? Yeah, no, they're not going to pursue. Uh, or maybe they will. There's going to be a long-range arrow coming in. No, nope. uh, Windrunner, uh, excuse me, Morphling, getting out safely. Really interested to see what uh, Potom is going to go next. And uh, Critical Strike won't hurt that much. Um, but I feel there's better items at this point. It looks like this Windrunner, despite taking so much damage, doesn't matter, comes back. gets a repl Replicate Potom. And uh, re resumes farming, and that's that's the gayness of of uh, of morphling, cause you could just like, you know, I just got ganked by three heroes, but I don't care. I'm gonna keep farming. What can you do about it? It looks like uh, when uh, Vengeful Spirit barely turned 11, 46 minutes into the game. That's quite late of a level 11. Um, his command aura only a level one, so he really needs to help out his morphling in terms of that. Just a. You know, find some neutral creeps in, in the jungle and get some level, because Command Aura, nothing to laugh at. And you see that March using his Replicate Potom to farm, not doing a bad job in it as well. Pick up a single neutral camp. And it uh, looks like um, this Panda has gone for a Plate Mail. Now, Plate Mail could go into the Shiva's Aura and the AC Aura. I believe how Aura works with Panda is that even if you split, Wherever you split uh, in that AOE, you have that aura. So let's say if there's a fight in the central mid tower and he uses ultimate form there, within this range, if he made a assault Curus, the minus armor aura will be there. Or if he made a Shiva's, the minus uh, attack speed aura will be there. But if the chase, you know, if he chases away, like a couple of feet away, then the aura will disappear. It won't follow the panda forms. It would just, it will just be at wherever uh, he uses ultimate. So not, I mean, it'll still help if, if the fight is concentrated in a single area, but I, I, I'm i not too sure whether aura items is the best for a Pandoran Master. Brewmaster. Brewmaster, okay. Yeah, not sure what this buckler is about, and uh, looks like the game is winding into a very uh, precarious stage for the center at this point. And uh, Windrunner is picking up, Windrunner has... Um, 1900 gold. Well, he's probably gonna go for Eye of Scotty at this point. I feel that's not the best uh, best item of uh, at this point. I think they really need a true strike to deal with the uh, the morphling at this point. But uh, they're not getting it for whatever reason. Maybe Potom is getting it at this point. But Potom Potom is at 1800 gold as well. I can't really tell what item he's gonna go next. Could very well be true strike or critical strike or butterfly itself. We don't know. We'll see. And. Uh, Invis Panda, they're gonna go for this Windrunner. Oh, Blink Owl. Uh, but they will get him hexed. Let's see if they kill him. Gonna be a nice stun? No, give me a nice stun. They're, okay, yeah, they're gonna chain stun him, Death. So they do pick off March. Now, let's see what they can do. But meanwhile, Tinker, TPing bottom. Oh, this bottom is gonna get chain stun. Is there a hex? Yes, there is a hex. Uh, but there is critically a Aegis. Uh, I, I bet you Mikey is pressing. Uh, Pressing uh, madly on his uh, E right now, just leaping away. And looks like they will get a nice counter gang. Earthshaker doing his ultimate. They will kill. No, they don't kill the Beastmaster, but they're probably going to kill Earthshaker. Earthshaker taking quite a bit of damage, but nice blink out. And are they going to live? Um, oh, wow, they are going to live. And the reason that they TP back was Morphling because they bought out Morphling. I mean, they could kill him once, but they already expended a lot of spells. So they traded Morphling's buyback for a Potom, uh, Aegis. Not a bad trade for Sentinel at this point because they do limit. They did uh, postpone the Morphling's uh, uh, Butterfly quite a bit. Um, he would have had it if he didn't have to buy back. But uh, now he's uh, going back to the farming train and doing whatever he can. Um Venge still quite low level, but he's been buying wards. And I see pro player nowadays getting more and more clarity throughout the mid game, uh, trying to keep his mana up to to prevent them from going back to base. I mean, it's on, it's only quite a small investment, and even if you're like a you know support player, you could afford to get that 50 gold. And Merlini still continues uh, persisting and warding this area. I just don't really understand. If one of my viewers out there could really understand the benefit of this ward such late game, please tell me. The Windrunner is a bit of trouble. Those illusions doing so much damage. I really love this ward by Gank here. And it looks like it's going to expire at this point. Oh my god, Morphling is in a bit of trouble. And uh, there is going to be a chain that I don't like. Oh, Morph... Is he going to be alright? Uh, looks like there is going to be 
a waveform out and no uh, he's gonna blink in. Is it gonna be ultimate? No ultimate on the uh, Tide Hunter, and they just expended a lot of spells. It looks like Morphling is gonna go everything into strength at this point. Uh, this Earthshaker replicate being pwned real hard. <clears throat> And the real one's in Um I think they're going to wait for the... Uh, no, no, there's no way the Morphling can come back because his Replicate form just died. But there is going to be a gank on this Potom. Do they know which one is the real one? Yes, they do know. He's going to get basically chained to death. And Potom being picked off like this is not going to be good. And uh, nice gank using the TPing into the, uh, the Quill Beast and uh, getting an instant gank. Meanwhile, in the top lane, they're going to gank on the on the earth shaker after a green kind of out of position maybe his ulti ran out or maybe he thought he could have killed two of them not too sure what happened there and uh potom only at 222 gold and this morphling going back in the farming stage i don't i mean he 